Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at uh, the guitar solo in Money by David Gilmore. So this is part one of part two. In this part we'll learn what I just played and that little quiet where they bring the guitar part down um, and they really take all the effects off of it and stuff. We'll learn that part too in this video. After that, the third chorus of the solo where he actually switches to a 24 fret guitar. It's like a Bill Lewis custom guitar that he used. Um, I'm going to have to also switch guitars because there's a lot of really high uh, fretted stuff up there. So um, anyway, we're going to break it into two parts. So let's take a look at this one. We're in standard tuning here. And the first uh, phrase of the solo sounds like this. All right, so we're here on the G string here, ninth fret. Do a bend to the ninth fret, whole set bend, and then you just kind of kill it to the seventh fret now on the G. And then go over to the tenth fret on the B and do a whole set bend. So far we have. All right, now you're gonna play seven ten on the B, and then jump back over to the ninth fret on the G string. Do that bend down to the 7 again. So we have this. And we're going to end it by sliding into the 12th fret on the B string over to 10 on the high E, back to 12 on the B. Alright, so so far. Alright, so the next phrase sounds like this. All right, so that's here on the B string, 12th fret. Hit that a couple of times. Then do a bend at the 12th fret on the high E string. Back to the 12th fret on the B a couple of times. And then down here to the 9th fret again, the B, uh, I'm sorry, bend up the G string the, at the 9th fret. Do that bend, and then play 7, 9. So we this. Over to 9 on the D. All right, from there we have this next phrase. All right, so we're gonna start here with a, a bend of the ninth fret on the G to seven on the B, and then roll to seven on the high E. Over to 10 on the B string, and then Take it again and slide into the 12th fret. Over to 10 on the high E. And then do that bend on the 12th fret. Over to 12 on the B. Back to the 10 on the high E. And then back to the 12 on the B. Alright. And then the second half of that phrase. Hold that bend at the 12th fret on the high E. Then it's 10, 12 on the high E, over to 12 on the B. Then play 10 on the B. Then slide down into the ninth fret on the G. All right, from there, you're gonna play nine, seven on the D and then slide quickly down from 9 to 7 on the A, D on the A string, I'm sorry, 5th fret, you know, and then over to the 7th fret on the low E string. So we have this. All right, next phrase. All right, so that's a uh, hammer seven to nine on the A string to the seventh fret on the D. And then you're gonna pull off set nine to seven on the D and come back to that nine on the A. And then you're gonna play the D string and the G string together at the seventh fret. Pick it twice pretty quick. 
over the nine on the D. So coming out of this. All right, and then we go to. So that's that bend kind of blues like we did earlier. This time it goes through quicker though. Quick bend of the ninth fret, roll seven to seven from B to the high E. To 10, up to 12, and then 10 on the high E string. 12, bend and release, pull up to 10, over to 12 on the B. So you see when I get to the B, I kind of held that note a little bit. Next phrase. All right, so that's a step and a half bend at the 14th fret uh, on the high E string. Then play 14, 12, 10, and then 12, 10 on the beat. Then slide down to the nine, into the nine on the G string, and then slide, pick it and slide back up to 11. All right, and then the next phrase. All right, so that's kind of the whole end of this little first section here. So we're so coming out of this. It's a bend at the whole the tenth fret, whole step bend at the tenth fret on the B string. Then you just play 10, 8, 7. And then play 9, 7, 6 on the G string. And then 10, 9 on the D. So as you're holding that note, you're going to go over to the 7th fret on the G and the B together. Back to that 9 on the D. Then come over to the ninth fret on the G and the B together. Back to that nine on the D, and then that's 11 on the G and 10 on the B. Go into that, hit it a few times, and then do a slow bend at the ninth fret on the G. And then you hit the two sevens on the, uh, the, the seven on the B string and the high E string. So all together that ending there is All right, so now the, the tone gets taken down to a, kind of really a minimal tone here. And then we have this section. I'll just play through it real quick, um, and then we'll take a look at it. Here it goes. back into those same double stops there. All right, so this is a kind of a very sparse sounding thing here. So it begins with that first double stop we hit here, the seventh fret on the uh, B and the high E together. You just kill that and then you do it again. And then you get a slide to here. So that's this slide again to the 12th fret on the B, playing it a few times, and then playing the 10th fret on the high E. And then play the two sevens on the G and the B string. So all together. All right, from there we have this. So that's a bend there at the ninth fret on the G again. Then play seven, nine, over to nine on the D. 
All right, from there we have this. That's um, the seventh fret on the D and the G together. Pick that and do a slight kind of just pull it towards the floor a little bit. Over to set nine on the A string and then hammer quickly seven to nine on the D. All right, so so far we have this. All right, from there we're back to the ninth fret on the G string. I'll just play through it real quick. All right, so like I said, you, you have to know it well by ear, kind of just to really know where to put the notes at. But it's a bend there at the ninth fret on the G, real quick, and just kill it. And then you're gonna do um, a, a unison bend, which is the seventh fret on the B, and the ninth fret on the G together while you're bending up that nine. All right, and now he does it again. He bends at the ninth, and he does a first bend, release, and when he picks it the second time, he kind of half hits it. He kind of maybe miss hits it. Uh, it might be a little harmonic in there. And as he releases it, you'll hear an open G string, and then he'll grab the seventh fret, and that's a quick bend, and then a slow, you kind of bend and release, and then a, a long bend over to the ninth fret on the D. So we have this so far. All right, so we're gonna end that little section with sliding to 12 on the B over to 10 on the high E string. All right, so the end of that section sounds like this. All right, so that is coming after that slide over to the 10th fret on the high E string. You're gonna do this. And that's just a roll from 10 on the B to 10 on the high E. Then you do the bend at the 12th fret on the high E. And then a quick pull off at 12 to 10. Then over to the 10th fret on the B string. Hit it a few times. And then slide 9 to 11 on the G. And then do those unison bends again. And now we basically have the uh, thing. Now he usually plays this version live. On the recording though, the second time through after the second chorus, you pretty much just hear the low, the octave beneath that. All right, so that's just 9-7 on the D, then 10-9-7 on the A, and then 10-9-8-7 on the low E. And then we're going to come out of that with those same ending as the first chorus. And then it, the, the third chorus of the solo starts, which we'll take a look at in the next video.